Yo, Nat. Good morning, how are ya? I'll be with you in about a minute, right? I'm just setting some stuff up. Hope you're doing well, though. Alright, here we go. You're working hard. Good day, though. I'm glad to hear that. I'm really glad to hear that. <laughs> hey, how are you? Well, I just asked that, didn't I? Don't, don't you don't have to answer that again. Uh, <laughs> I'm here to do a little bit of country streaks with you, right? Do you wanna do you wanna do some country streaks with me? We could we could work on our metas together. Uh, I think I'll continue with the one from last time. <laughs> There we go, Tio as well. Good afternoon. How are you? Hope you're doing well too. It's Wednesday, guys. It's Wednesday. It's one of those great days. We're way past halfway to the weekend now. This is the home stretch. Bye as well. Good after. Do I know where you're from? Good afternoon. Good evening. <laughs> I can't remember. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hey, Maddie as well. Good morning. Hope you're doing well, dude. How'd you do yesterday? Uh, I'll try to try to beat your streaks today as well. I, I can't promise a whole lot though. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for uh, for lurking there as well. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate you. Hey guys, if you haven't checked out, and let me do this again, right? I I so rarely get to. If you haven't checked out, uh. The Muddy Eyes. Do so. Throw them a follow. Really fun streamer. I hang, I hang, I hung out there a little bit yesterday evening, right? I think it was yesterday evening. I got my days, nights, evenings, mornings all mixed up. <laughs> but that's right. Oh, you're from Bulgaria. Yeah, I think I think you mentioned that actually. Yeah. So good afternoon. <laughs> Hope you're doing well. All right. Let's look around a little bit. Hey, Sivar! How are you doing, dude? Hope you're doing well. We're starting with a, with a little bit of country streaks. It's my warm-up round. Hey. For sale? <laughs> I don't know where I'm at, but I, I mean English language. Yellow dividing line. 
Tell me this couldn't be the US or Canada. That's a little bit loud, maybe. Let's bring that down just a little bit. Is that better? Whoop! <laughs> what are these? I don't recognize these at all. Alberta. Wait, what's the... Um, they have some specific bollards in, in Alberta, right? What else, though? What am I missing? It's probably these, though, right? I'm gonna go ahead and absolutely trust you on this one. I mean, I could absolutely see this being Alberta. I would have to keep looking for, um, you know, the, those house numbers they have in front of the houses in Canada or any sort of metric. Speed limit signs. Other stuff. <laughs> Only Alberta has it for sale. <laughs> I like it. I don't think that's true, though. You're lying to me. <laughs> well, that's a Dodge Ram. I really, I used to really want one of these ones before. <laughs> no way do I need it, but I like it. All right, let's go. Yes, you're so right, too. Holy shit. Well done. Okay, this is Japan. Low cam tell by how much bigger the car looks underneath us uh, and just the feel of the place right let me double check though my my Japan radar has kind of been a bit wonky recently so might as well double check right yeah nope I was absolutely wrong but I do see German and I still think we're low cam so what about Switzerland it's an easy mistake to make, Chad, okay? <laughs> Don't hold that against me. This is Switzerland, isn't it? I'm so bad at telling the uh, the low camps apart that even if I'm right and this is Switzerland, I'm not too worried about misidentifying this one because it just means that I'm able to see the Swiss low cam now. But I mean, what if this is Finland, though? It's happened before. <laughs> Wait, was that a website? Yeah.ch, there we go. That's good enough for me. Nice. All right, 22. Keep going till we see a Rolex or a Casio. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so I, I was gonna say Malta because I see a lot of sandstone and sort of I don't actually know if this even is sandstone, but you know what I mean? Uh, but I don't think it is. Could it be Spain, though? There's a stop sign, so we're not in um, Mexico or South America. Oh, but this looks Italian, doesn't it? Oh, this is Ita it Italy. Mander, good morning. How are you? Hope you're doing well. Yeah, look at that Italian plate right there. Double blue tags and all. I mean... And it's a Fiat. Yeah, definitely Italy. How am I missing? <laughs> I clicked like four times. Alright, there we go. Italy. Nice! 23. Hell yeah. Alright, um... that right in the football hell yeah wait was that was that a football field that's just grass mander it's just grass <laughs> i mean you could probably play football there right is that a swimming pool or just a fountain looking thing <laughs> oh you meant the italian football all right all right good save good save <laughs> Wait, we're on a tracker right now, aren't we? Oh, that's German. That's all German. And this is kind of not great quality camera. Um, could it just be regular old Germany, though? It definitely could. <gasps> Beer garden. It's gotta be Germany. 
<laughs> right? I didn't mean for that to sound like Germany has a drinking problem, but I mean, I've never seen a beer garden outside of Germany, so and there we go. Let's do it. Yeah, it worked out. It worked out. They have tons of them. Yeah, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely this is Norway. Yeah. See how you, you've got these green plates on the uh, on the back of the uh, commercial vehicles and stuff? Typical Norwegian thing. Uh, I know these shops. And that's a bit of Norwegian as well. So, um, yeah. You like to take cool things from other countries and copy them? I like it. I wish I had a beer garden. I just have a regular garden. But I do have beer and a regular garden. I could work something out with that. <laughs> All right, that's Norway for you. You need more Norwegian matter? Uh, the yellow dividing line is not solely Norwegian, but you find that in Norway and Finland, and of course in North America. A few other countries that I can't remember right now. <laughs> Um, weirdly enough, I don't even know Norwegian bollards. That's what they look like. All right. It's pretty cool, I guess. It's pretty cool. Yeah, and the long broken lines, uh, the outer lines as well, you're right. I mean, these ones, these ones aren't though. And that's what I mean. That's thrown me off a few times. Um, uh, it, it probably, if I were to guess, I'd say it probably depends on the, uh, the type of road that you're on. But I'm not entirely sure. But this is definitely Norway, though. Welcome to Norway, guys. I I'm gonna say we're probably, like, this-ish region, unless we're even further north, but I... Mm, or neither. Apparently I'm shit at guessing places in my own country, so... Alright, well. That wasn't the worst. I thought we'd be up here, but that's fine. 25. <laughs> Let's move on. Uh, ooh. Finland or Baltics? Or neither. But it's gonna be one of those. I'm actually gonna go ahead and assume Finland or Estonia. Maybe. I'm looking for language right now. finish right I don't know what's typically finish guys what do you guys think are, is typically finish there's a K supermarket I think I've heard of those being typically finish but saunas yeah you're right they are typically finish I want a sauna. I've actually been looking into getting one, uh, like one of those really simple ones that you could just put out in your um, in your garden. See the T I E at the ending of this road? That means road or street or something. So the way that you could tell Finnish and Estonian apart, because the languages are pretty similar. I've heard people say recently as well, yesterday, I think that was Matty Ice, that I can't remember for sure that that Estonia or Estonian is like drunk Finnish. Uh, but one way that you can tell them apart is the T-I-E in Finland and it's T-E-E -E in Estonia. So that's one way to tell those apart. I'm going to go ahead and trust that meta. Case and use are what you look for in Finnish. That's not a bad idea. Uh, also, a lot of umlauts for some reason. I, they just like them. I, I'm fine with that. <laughs> Alright, let's send it. There we go, it was Finland! Who's playing the saxophone? Chat. Which one of you is playing the saxophone? <laughs> Alright, we have an antenna. And I feel like these, this, uh, this looks... Balkan to me. But the red and white 
curbs, though. Isn't that like, um... It's like a, not Israel, but... Uh, Jordan, maybe? I don't think this is either of those, but... One of them has a peculiar kind of a... Curb thing, right? Kenny G is under chat. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that! Look at the language over there. That's Hebrew, isn't it? I'm finally... I'm finally able to uh, to recognize certain differences in the language, at least. So I, th I, th I think I'm right about that. <laughs> Should I double check still? It's okay, it's a single sign, but it's good enough. Let's do it. It works! Magic credulous. Badger! People are right. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? That's a bit of a detail on that uh, that voice thing, but hey, hope you're doing well. And thank you so much for that for five months, dude. It was doubled. Oh. Oh, I think I'm outputting. Okay, there's something to do with the output because I did not hear that doubled, but I've noticed from time to time. Oh, just Brian? All right, cool. So the other Frickhead wasn't doubled. That's what you're saying, right? <laughs> uh, this is... I would say hungry with these. Um, okay, he wasn't. All right, cool, 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 cool. Um, yeah, wait, what was the thing yesterday? I had a thing yesterday. Oh, yeah, some of the alerts were, went really quiet. So I'm, I, I forgot to go through that and fix that. Uh, but I should be looking into that. Actually, I'll note that down right away so that I don't forget. There we go. Good enough. Good enough. All right. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah. Thank you again, Badger. I appreciate you so much. And thank you for hanging out. How are you doing, though? How, how are you? Uh, they, these could be Hungarian thin holy polies and we also have what looks like autumnal coverage anyway that looks so haunting just a straight road going directly into the mist like this i like it tired but really far ahead on work nice hell yeah that's good keep that going if you can but i mean you have been working hard as well so you've got this though you've got this Aren't these Poland poles? They could be. We should double check that. Uh, but this is definitely winter coverage, and I don't know if you find that in Poland. The way that I would tell Poland apart um, is to look for language again. Uh, well, actually, the, there's a few different Polish metas. You have the W that you can look for. This is not Polish, by the way. This is definitely Hungarian, 100%. Uh, but if I were looking for Poland... Um, I'd be looking for W's in the language because you don't find that a lot in the uh, surrounding countries anyway. Uh, the L with a line through it, and they have bollards in the side of the road that kind of look like the Australian ones. Actually, New Zealand ones. They're white with a uh, crooked red sort of a necktie on them. That's about it. Yeah, but this is this is hungry though. The language back there. It looks so cool, the language, though. I, I love the Hungarian language. There we go. Works out. 28. All right. Um, Hotel Messiah. Huh. All white lines. Are we driving on the... Yeah, we're driving on the... Yeah, right-hand side. <laughs> oh! Alright, well that's that's all I needed. The piece of tape that signifies Ghana. <laughs> it's too uh The bollards wear ties, yeah they are fancy. And I don't know why, but I like personifying the bollards. <laughs> the uh, the Danish one. He's the, the Chad Bollard. He's got a headband on, he's really sporty and everything. Um <laughs> 
<laughs> what else? I can't remember. There's a few different ones like that. They're so cute, yeah. There we go, it's Ghana. I can't wait for them to update the Ghana and, Ghana and coverage, though. I'd love to learn more about the, uh, the country and stuff like that, other than just the Google car. <laughs> the Chad Pollard, it is, though, it is. <laughs> that Pollard would steal your girl in a second. Uh, <laughs> what am I looking for? Crystal Sweets. Is that a... Is that the follow car? Wait, let me... Let me check something. Is he still following me? Or oh, is not? Hmm. I thought this could be like um, a Nigerian... Uh, in a Nigerian neighborhood though, because of the... Uh, the soil and everything, but maybe that is the follow car, actually. Because that's one of the ways that you tell Nigeria apart, is that you have a car that keeps following you all the way through the country. Like you do in, um, in, uh, oh, why am I blanking? Uh, Tunisia, there we go. Mandra would say Nigeria? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it together, Nigeria. There it is. I still want to look into uh, to uh, flights to Lagos and stuff like that. I I'd love to check out Lagos. I keep hearing that it's the most populous city in all of Africa, and it's supposed to be, it's supposed to have a really like special kind of a vibe to it. So I'd be curious to see. We'll see. Maybe one day. Let's go, though. Together, yeah. I believe in us. There we go! It wasn't Lagos, it was Benin City, but still. And we're at the 30. One of Africa's biggest travel hubs? I, I could see that, for sure. It's strategically placed as well for that, because you could reach any, anything and everywhere from there. So, well done, Nigeria. There we go, alright. Um... A thick holy poly should indicate Romania. I would be double checking by looking for white paint on the bottom of trees, poles, and, and all that. Or more thick poles. That's also gonna... Is Lagos more populated than Cairo? See, that's the thing that I'm not... I, I didn't check. I, I heard the thing and then I sort of just thought I'd retell that. It might not be, uh, but there was something anyway about Lagos when it came to, to population, stuff like that. <laughs> I, listen, that wouldn't be the first time that I've been wrong, all right? <laughs> I am not Wikipedia. Believe that. Be believe that, if anything. <laughs> we missed language? Wait. Did we pass language? I saw the, like, the distance thing, but... Oh, there we go. A lot of eyes, and, and... Eyes as in... Words ending in I. Uh... Telefoano. Even Wikipedia fails, like all of us. You're right. I'm not a fault, you're right. <laughs> Thought RO, there we go. Yeah. All right, let's go. Yeah. Uh, Romania is another one of those countries where I'd love to visit. It's one of those issues, though, where I, I'd love to go to around this region, and I'd love to go over there and up here as well. I'd, I'd, need, I'd need weeks to cover all of Romania. It's a huge country. <laughs> but I really want to visit it, too. That's the, uh, that's the hazard of GeoGuessr. You discover so many cool looking places. Like that spot in um that spot in Albania that I uh never caught the name of, but it was beautiful. They have vampires in Romania, that's why I want to go there. That would be cool. Uh and just 
passing the Carpathian Mountains and everything. It's a it's supposed to be really beautiful. Really atmospheric, and I, I like atmosphere. What does that say? Why are we in a Gen 1 camera right now? No tip jar? It's normally there, but I uh, in in the uh, in this month we have some more important things anyway, so I thought I'd uh, displace the tip, tip jar for now. <laughs> Uh, but good morning, or good afternoon, actually, now. Uh, Admiral, I hope you're doing well. Alright, are we? Wait, there's no blue tags on these. This doesn't look like, um, the US or Canada, does it? What's the little yellow thing? Which little yellow thing? We need language, you're right. Or the position of the sun. There is no sun. Oh, it might be there. <laughs> huh. Once in Geogaster, you got a place in Montenegro and you typed it in so you could visit it someday. See, exactly, that's what I mean, though. Uh, I just forgot to, to note the name of the place down, but I, I remember where it was. It was down... Um, actually, was... Yeah, it was south of Montenegro, like down this area as well. And there was another place like that in Albania that I've completely forgotten. Um, but one day I'll, I'll find it and I'll visit them. <gasps> Shadows! Alright, let's see. The sun is definitely to our north. You enjoy the Pride Modes, fan Bart? It is nice, right? Believe it or not, but I made it myself. Look at them! They're cute. <laughs> it's that month. It's important. Uh, let's see. Baileys for sale. Oh, I, I would go for some Baileys right about now. Sure. <laughs> the Peepo tip jar. <laughs> Should set up a, uh, a Peepo, Peepo uh, tip jar of some sort, yeah. Wait, this doesn't... What? That shouldn't be there. I mean, it is red, so this this should be New Zealand, but... I've never seen that before on the roundabout yield signs. I'm skeptical now. Alright, there's a bigger one up here, though. Let's check it out. If the, um... If the text is red in the middle, which, I mean, it is, uh, it's gonna be New Zealand. If it were black, it would have been Australia. It's one of the best ways to, t to tell those two countries apart. And one thing that I learned uh, the other day is that if you look at the signposts, right? The signposts are white in New Zealand and they're metal in Australia. I haven't, like, triple checked that one, but it, it seems to check out. So we're going to go New Zealand. And going by the way things look around here, the hills and everything, this is going to be the North Island. Pretty sure. Do they both run on the left? They do, yeah. They do. And you find a lot of, like, uh, names like this in, uh, in New Zealand. I mean, it's not that reliable because you find a lot of that in Australia as well, but... Uh, but yeah, look at that. All of the signposts are white. Remind me once we drop in Australia to double-check the, uh, the, uh, signposts over there as well. Let's go to the beach. I would love to go to a beach with you guys. Where is the beach, though? I, s I saw the sign, but it doesn't look like we'd find a beach over that way. Send it though. North Island, let's go! Yeah, there we go. There we go, nice! New Zealand is at the top of your next international trip list? I definitely get that. It's so expensive though. The flights are insanely expensive. But I mean, hopefully, there's a lot less spiders there than what you find in Australia. So I'm with you. <laughs> it's literally the one reason why I haven't visited Australia yet. I'm terrified of spiders. <laughs> hey, Pico, good afternoon. How are ya? Hope you're doing well. There are less scary things? I'm, I'm happy to hear that. I've, I've been dreading to research that just in case I was wrong, but that's my impression anyway. Yours, Japan? I would advise Japan. I've actually been to Japan twice. Um, so I, 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 and I always tell people, like, if you want to go 
for any reason. If you want to go because you're interested in anime or if you're interested in technology, traveling, museums, history, whatever, just go. You won't be disappointed. I mean, just go if you can afford it, of course, but um, but don't... I mean, you, you, you will have a good time. I'm pretty sure. This is Brazil? This could definitely be Brazil. A lot of red soil. I would have been expecting a yellow dividing line, but that might be it right there. Huh. Did we see language? We might have. Oh, you're having a cleaning day today, Pico. Nice, that's exciting. What are you cleaning? Everything? Like the entire house and all? That's cool. If you ever think something is clean, you can't say it's clean until you clean it with pressure water. Oh, you are so right. I really want a pressure washer. I'd love to get one. Language is South... Is that... Do you mean South African or, or South American? Oh, dot BR. Yeah, so South, Af uh, South, South American then, right? Hell yeah. How dangerous are pressure washers? Could I could I hurt myself using a pressure washer? Because if I get one, I'm uh, if there's even the slightest chance, I'm gonna go ahead and hurt myself on it. It's happened so many times with so many other things. Vende is Spanish, and it said Vendo, so probably Portuguese. Oh, nice! Hell yeah! <laughs> you would do it if it didn't peel your skin off? Uh-oh. <laughs> I, I don't think you're supposed to clean your hands or any other body part with pressure washers. It's a bad idea. <laughs> it's not that dangerous. Just don't point it in your eyes. But how, how else are you going to check if it's on? Huh? <laughs> All right, let's send Brazil. There we go. There we go. Welcome to Brazil. 33. We're doing well. We know these ones, don't we? And by that, I mean you guys know these ones, don't you? I think it might be Latvia. Nope. That's a... Uh, this is not a wooden power line thing. Power pole. But we're definitely in the Baltics. And... Wait a minute. It's gonna be Lithuania. No wait, this is um oh um Estonia. If this one's if these are round, it's usually Estonia. The Lithuanian ones are concave, I think. The round ones belong in Estonia. Let's double check though. I have a few um a few different ways of uh determining the different Baltic countries. Pressure washer is dangerous only if you do it like five five centimeters away. If someone sprays you with a pressure washer from like a meter, it's fine. Oh, nice! So I could actually install a pressure washer in my uh, in my bathroom and use it as a bidet. Good idea. There we go. Lithuania has a more dark or a darker orange. Oh, oh, that's so hard to tell apart though, when, uh, unless you get them back to back. Or if you've seen them a bunch of times. It's kind of like the low cam. It took me so long to get used to um, to noticing the low cam. I still want to double check. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and trust you guys. If you guys say that they're supposed to be darker, that really only leaves Estonia. And because we appreciate Estonia around here, we're going to go ahead and select them. A bit of pressure or just be six centimeters away. Nice. The internet told me, so it must be true. That was indeed Estonia. We have an angry Zed. I'm gonna go ahead and call. This is gonna be um, Czechia or Slovakia. Buckle up, chat. Are you buckled up right now? You should be. You're in the picture. Lithuania? What, do you mean this could be Lithuania? Oh, you're right! You are so right! I saw the angry Zed and I... I, I didn't think, I'm sorry. Oh, nice! Oh yeah! Welcome to Lithuania! 
The Lithuanian, what, what are the other Lithuanian metas? You could probably tell me a few good ones then. I mean, language is the, uh, the easiest one if you speak it, of course, but I don't. <laughs> Madge said, yeah. <laughs> All right, Pico, good luck. Good luck. Be careful, though. Remember, five centimeters. Yeah, the, the, the blue road thing. Yeah, the markers, right? Oh, there it is. It's triangular. It's got two different numbers. And you find different ones in Latvia and Estonia. And depending on which way they're oriented, you can tell which country you're in. That's only ever failed me once. It's a, uh, it's a good meta. That's a really good meta. And also, I like the bus stop meta. I'd, I'd show you, but there's no bus stop around. But I like it. When I, when I get to it, you'll see. It's great. Look at the bollards. Oh yeah, you're right. It's supposed to be lighter. Okay, let's see if we can uh, see if we can find the bollard. See if we can actually tell the difference in color. Huh. Where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? Show me the bollards. Where are you hiding the bollards? I need the bollards. Conus, I know that's the place. I've, I've heard that name before. <laughs> I know it's a place because it's on a uh, a sign. Sure, but I mean, let's head down this way. This looks like we're slightly further outside of civilization, so we might be able to find ballers. Show them to me. You're guessing Jerbakas is the city. Oh, all right. Let's see. Let's see. That's cool. All right, I'm not finding ballers. Damn it. Where are you hiding the bollards? <laughs> nothing. Absolutely nothing. And they've even blurred out the bus stops. I can't even show you the bus stop matter. Ah. Damn it. <laughs> Alright, well. Yeah, I'm not finding the bollards, but I will remember to check those out for sure. I, I like honing in on the matters as well. Now that I know a few of them, I like being able to, um... Oh, and you're so right! Admiral, well, well done, holy shit. Is that a big city? Is that, like, a well-known one? It looked nice. Alright, I'm seeing what I assume is Spanish. Huh. Yeah, this is definitely Spanish. But not Spain, though. Look at that deer! He's walking on the sidewalk. He thinks his people! Cute! Where'd he go? Where'd he go? He's gone. All right, well, guess he was busy. Guess he had places to be, things to do. <laughs> huh. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of billboards over here. One of them's got to hold some information for me, right? I scared him off all. <laughs> Damn it. Ooh, by the way, last Sunday, right? I went to, uh, to a dinner. Oh, <gasps> .mx. Mexico. There we go. Uh, I went to a dinner and the, uh, the, the people that I visited had a Dalmatian. And it's the first Dalmatian that I've ever actually met in my entire life. I don't think I've ever actually pet a Dalmatian until last Sunday. Oh, so cute. So cute. There was a dot MX on the on the sign there. If you didn't see it, I could go back and show you. Yeah. Did they have 101? I, as far as I know, probably. I think they were just like running in and out of the house, uh, like one by one. So I only ever saw one at a time. But you know, that probably, probably the answer is yes. All right, let's send Mexico. There we go. It is Mexico City. Another city. If I were to go to Mexico one day, chat, 
Is Mexico City worth the visit? Or should I... I mean, it's such a big country still. I've heard good things about, like, this area, but that's more of a party area, I'm guessing, right? Uh, where should I go in Mexico? Go to Yucatan? Hell yeah. That's that area right there. Nice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that one day, I, I promise. Or Cabo. I've heard that name before. Why does that sound so familiar? <gasps> website. Oh, it's a dot .com website. Damn it. Just don't go to uh, Ciudad Juarez. But I like the name Juarez, though. I played a, a video game many years ago that I think was called Call of Juarez. And it was a really cool video game, so I, I, I need to go there at some point, probably. Alright, we have... Accolade Building, Strong, Arboretum, and Ross. Just Ross. This entire building. Why do I feel like we're, we're gonna get stuck on this campus? Oh wait! We have English and we have a dollar sign. So US or Canada? Probably. The sun is to our east. What could this be, though? I mean, they do have dollars. Dollar roos in uh, Australia and New Zealand as well, right? So... This looks North American to me. Private property sign. That's gonna... Probably indicate... Nothing. <laughs> Okay, I'm looking for everything now. It's definitely North America though, right? Wait, there's a single yellow line. Like a dividing line. That's... That might not actually mean anything, but I, I know that I've seen the double yellow a bunch of times in, uh, in the US, but now that I think about it, we have both single and double lines in, uh, in Norway as well, so that might not mean anything. Canada, Toronto. Yeah, you could be right about that. The New York guess, I would agree with you, but I feel like we'd see a lot more um, yellow license plates, right? Oh, there's the maximum. It's going to indicate that we are indeed in Canada. And let's see if Admiral is right about this one, Toronto guess. Danger due to what? This is... That's worrying. <laughs> danger due to what, chat? What's the danger? <laughs> huh. Let's see. D walking, there you go. It's good idea. Is this... Why does this look like it's about to tip over? That, oh, this is an interesting city. I don't know where this is. It's probably Toronto, like you said. But it's interesting looking. I like it. There we go. You're absolutely right. Well done. 37. Can we make it to 40? I think we can. Alright, yellow back plates. White front plates. This is the UK. It's a pretty village, too. I like it. You've improved? You have. I mean, I always thought you were good, though, but... Learning new stuff is cool. Hell yeah. Dover. 38. Let's do this. Let's do this. The, the op Hospital San Carlos. With a white car, but a yellow divining line, so it's not Chile. Does that leave Brazil? That really only leaves Brazil, doesn't it? I think it does. And Sivar agrees with me and the recipe as well there. Nice, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. 
There we go. Ooh. Nice. 39. One more and we reach 40. I'm going to say this is probably Spain. With these thick red outlines. Um, but I will double check. Okay, I'm not feeling Spain anymore. I'm not seeing any blue tag on these plates. What about Jordan, Israel? Could be South Africa. Oh. Yeah, you might be right. I just want to see the language over there. That's probably going to help us steer us in the right direction, probably. This is a cool looking landscape, too. Damn it, they removed the sign. Let's see. Let's see. There we go. The dot or plus 34. I don't know the, the country codes, but this looks Spanish, doesn't it? Oh, it is nice. Hell yeah, Theo. Thank you. Um, all right, so. Gen 4. Probably not Europe. Wait. Let me have a look at that pedestrian crossing sign again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That checks out for Spain, though. That checks out for Spain. But there was no blue tag on the car back there. That probably doesn't mean a whole lot, does it? Could have been tourists. I wonder where in Spain this is, though. All these white buildings. The mountain in the distance. It looks cool. Santa Cruz. I don't know where that is but I'm gonna go ahead and trust you it checks out but not continental or oh, probably an island there you go there you go oh yeah look at that oh nice hell yeah and we reached 40 chat well done well done now tell me could this be New Zealand the sun is to the north, which would place us in the southern hemisphere. Nope. Okay, well, we have... Do we have... That looks Portuguese to me. Not with the hydrate, thank you! Oh, yeah. The hydration thing is so important, too. It, I, I honestly forget to drink water when I, when I stream. Uh, this one's for you, Nat. And the rest of you should have a drink as well. I know, don't even lie to me. You haven't had a sip of water in, in like an hour probably. Or more. So you should. <laughs> it's delicious. This one's for you. That was a big one. Thank you. You drank some coffee? That's completely fine. You haven't drank water in days? Oh. Well, I'm not going to say... I'm not angry, okay? I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed, right? <laughs> oh, it is Portuguese. So this could be Brazil. Brazil. Maybe. I don't know a whole lot of the matters. Uh, but the position of the sun would exclude Portugal. And that leaves Brazil. So, um... You really should, yeah. <laughs> it's delicious. I mean, you do get a, a bit of hydration as well from coffee. Um, I think I've heard that you can technically have, like, four cups of coffee a day before it starts to uh, dehydrate you. I think it's got something to do with the levels of coffee and, uh, or caffeine or something, but... You know, <laughs> but still have some have some water too. It's it's good for you. Brazil, hundred percent. Here we go. There you go. Well done. 
Well done. All right, uh, black car, yellow dividing lines. And that's it, that's all I have. You only drink one a day and you don't usually finish it? I, I do the same thing. Like I make, I, oh, this is South Korea. Um, I make, um, I feel like I make a good cup of coffee too, because I use one of those, uh, you know the Bialetti, like the, the typically, I feel like they're typically Italian, right? So you get like a strong, almost espresso type coffee. Uh, yeah, and then I drink like half of that and then I forget about the rest. And then I drink like a quarter of what's left. Let me just throw the rest of it out. I should stop doing that, shouldn't I? South Korea, here we go. <laughs> 42. Let's see. Okay, we have an antenna, and I feel like this is Balkan. Ooh, this is a uh, Serbian bollard, isn't it? See how he's got this cool hat? And he's got the hat, like, tilted to his side because his face is right here. The, the reflector is sort of on the left-hand side. It's the, uh, it's the cool bollard of the Balkans. Which I think is the Serbian one. I might be wrong, but... That's going to be my assumption. We could look around a bit more, though. Let me move down. Come on. Let me move down the street, please. Oh. Look at that. Oh, wait, we have rifts. I don't think the rifts check out with Serbia. Uh-oh. It should be Albania or Montenegro, then. Oh, no. Oh, but I don't remember the antenna meta for this area at all. Unless there are areas in Serbia with rifts, that might be the case. Let me move, please. There we go. I know I normally always say to go uh, downhill, but I'm going to go uphill this time. Because there's more buildings. And a super pretty church just nestled in the middle of this. Nice. Where's the music for an show? You're right. I'm so sorry. I, I couldn't stop laughing at that later, like last night either, that I actually managed to throw you off. I didn't do that on purpose, but I found it really funny. <laughs> because I, I, I'm prone to do the same thing. <laughs> it's Montenegro. Albania is Muslim. Oh, is that actually... Is that reliable? I feel like you could probably find a church either way, right? A cemetery and a dangerous curve. Hey, that's handy, okay? <laughs> After all the shit we're talking, I didn't pick up on half of that. That's fine. <laughs> Magic credulous. Oh, space! Wait, just wait for the. Hey! 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 How are ya? Thank you so much as well for the five months, dude. Holy shit. I hope you're doing well. Was the, uh, was the, uh, was Brian doubled up there as well? I, I need to check that out. It's got something to do with something. I'm pretty sure, uh, that I need to, to figure out. I hope you're doing well, though. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you. Uh, ooh, we have a blue tag. That doesn't help me at all, actually. That actually doesn't help. Um, how reliable is the, the Albania versus Montenegro religion-wise, though? Because that feels dangerous. <laughs> you didn't notice it doubled up? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, good. Um, I wouldn't be surprised, though, because I have noticed, now that I think back on it, indications that I'm probably running... Uh, two audio channels, and I shouldn't be. Not according to OBS, but this might be a Windows thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and double check that. What if I do... Would you let me know if either my sound or the music disappears if I do this? No, I'm kidding. I'm still... I'm still here. Uh, <laughs> but I, I hope you can hear me still, though. Uh... Albania has two blue tags. Oh, you're right. That is definitely a thing. 
these are not Albanian plates. The Albanian plates are like the Italian with a double blue or a red tag on the left. That should technically leave Montenegro. I'm happy with that one. You got coffee in Turkey Mads? Nice, hell yeah. What kind of a coffee did you make? I feel like you, you, you have the best coffees. I need to know. I'm, I'm, I'm living vicariously through you. <laughs> Let's send Montenegro though. There we go. Hell yeah. See, I'm one of those people. Right? We had that discussion at some point about people drinking black coffee. And I'm definitely one of those people, believe it or not. But I enjoy hearing about interesting coffees. Okay, I'm seeing the Hua. So that's going to be a Portuguese one. And there is the Portuguese tag. The, the blue on the left and the yellow on the right. That's going to leave us with Portugal. Boom. There we go. 44. Hell yeah. Hazelnut flavored. Holy. How... I wonder if I could actually... I, I've never tried, but I I do have a hazelnut allergy. But I wonder if, like, flavoring would be alright? I should try that, shouldn't I? In North America? Yeah, Canada or US, though. I'm not seeing the house numbering, which should pr maybe suggest the US, but... Hmm. How many allergies do I have? How much time do you got? <laughs> There's a lot. Bed Bug Hill. I would not. I would not visit Bed Bug Hill. That sounds disgusting. Um, are you allergic to these? What are these? I've never heard of these before. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> These nuts. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I, I don't actually have space enough to dab right here, and I would not be caught dabbing on screen or on stream anyway, so. <laughs> well played, though. We have an American flag. We're gonna go ahead and assume that this is not an American flag flown in Canada. Uh, so we're gonna send it. Where in, where in the US is this, though? Is this gonna end up being Kansas, Oklahoma? Uh, not Oklahoma, right? Oklahoma would have slightly more of a red tint to the soil. I think. What about Nebraska? What about Nebraska? Alright, we have a few guesses for Kansas, a few for Oklahoma. Sivar agrees with me on the Nebraska. Let's see, though. And I don't know why I, I think this for Nebraska. It just kind of... I feel like this entire region is uh, is this. It's like straight roads, farmland, beautiful buildings. I, I, I mean it. I would love to travel through this. I would absolutely love to. Hell yeah. Nat says Kansas. All right, let's see. <laughs> if, if we were in a cornfield, it would have been Nebraska. All right, cool. Uh, they're cheaply made buildings. Huh. But they look so cozy. I feel like I could... Just enter any of these buildings and just, like, have a good time. Like, nice people and, you know, probably. Bud Town and uh, Bed Bug Hill, though? Not so sure. I really want a porch like this. That's one of my, uh, I have a project to build, basically. Not this, but, like, I, I want, like, a place to sit outside of my uh, my house like that. Like, under a roof. Because I love reading in places like this in heavy rain. Um, yeah, I just love the sound. I just sit and read for hours. We'll find names are Road Bad Bug Hill. <laughs> People who don't want visitors, that's who. Alright, let's go. There we go! Holy shit! Alright. Philadelphia. I never would have guessed. It must have had an apocalyptic infestation of bad bugs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's where they all come from, though. They all come crawling out from, uh, from Bad Bug Hill. 
This is Singapore, isn't it? Double yellow outer line. Uh, I, feel, I feel like I've seen the Junction 8 thing before, and the buildings in the backgrounds back it up as well. Look at the blue car. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. It looks impractical, though. Let's be honest. <laughs> See if we can, can get a shot from the other side there. Just pass me already. Oh, well. And he's already gone. <laughs> That's some torque. All right. Uh, it is Singapore, though. I don't care what you say. This is Singapore. <laughs> Let's eat the man inside. <laughs> hey, I'm all for it. <laughs> 46. There we go. As long as it's consensual, I'm all for it. <laughs> Let's see. <gasps> Could this be Latvia? Could this be the Latvian metro thing? Huh. I don't actually think it is, but... Ever since someone came in here and just recognized the, the tracks... Of the Latvian Metro. <laughs> I've wanted to uh, to recreate that moment for myself. That's not Italian, is it? So could this be Romanian? <laughs> not the cozy emote. <laughs> don't, don't bring that into my channel. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Alright, well... I guess we're one of those channels now. Dot R O, there we go. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. Nice. <laughs> have we haven't had a single copy pasta yet, have we? <laughs> That's the closest we've gotten so far. There we go. Forty-seven. Welcome to Romania. Ooh. Look at all these red. Brick, roof, house, things. Um, Jimmy Flex, hi. Good evening. How are you? Good afternoon, maybe. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and. Oh wait. Oh, it's Portugal. That's Portugal for you. All right, Jimmy. I'll see you later. All right. Have a good one. Uh, yeah, Portugal for sure. There we go. With the uh, the yellow tag on the right hand side. There we go, 48. Can we get to 50? I think we might. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, German language, it looks like. But no blue tag? Wait. Are we low cammed? Could this... We could be. Could this be... <gasps> could it be Switzerland? Oh, it could be. That does not help. What am I looking for, though? I don't know the Swiss bollards. I'm honestly, I'm just looking for the flag right now. That would be a big uh, help. The flag would. Is that it? I don't. Mm -mm. Oh, there it is. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Wait, what? What was that sound? I didn't get a. Did you guys hear that? I didn't get anything in uh, in my OBS though. What was that? <laughs> oh shit! Yo, let me let me check that out. I, I, I for some reason I don't have set anything set up for that. How come? Yo! Wait. Is that? Is that? Hey! 
No, really? Nate! Yo, Nate, thank you for that dono, dude! I appreciate you so much! <laughs> That's actually the first one that I've had so far, I think. I don't think I've had donations coming in before. That's probably why I, um... That's probably why I, um... Don't have anything set up for it. But I thank you. I appreciate you so much. <laughs> let me, uh... Let me, um... Um... Oh, wait, you changed your name, didn't you? Oh, you changed your name, didn't you? Um... Oh, but I can't remember right off the top of my head right now what the new name was. Nate, help me out, dude. <laughs> it's something travels, isn't it? I saw that you changed your name, but I haven't picked it up yet. But yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you so much. That's not necessary, though. But yeah, thank you. I appreciate all of you guys so much, too. Um, what do you guys think? Is this, is this Switzerland? I, I got thrown all the way out of it now. <laughs> but I think it might be. Um, let's see. What, what was I looking for? We're low cam, right? So. <laughs> oh. You guys. <laughs> hey. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and stand in Switzerland for this one. <laughs> Did, did that come with a message, though? Because I'm, I'm not seeing anything in my OBS. Um, and I, I don't know how to read the other thing. But if there was a message, I, I, I promise that I'll look it up. I'll double check that really quick. Really, really quick. Let me, let me, let me double check. Uh, uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to read and not. <laughs> I just want to be careful. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing a message necessarily. But... Thank you again. I appreciate that so much. I never expected to uh, to get anything back from doing this anyway. I just I appreciate just like playing this with you guys and learning so much, uh, and even just like how how much I've been able to learn since I started doing this uh, has been has been so amazing, amazing to me, really. Because I I see myself kind of recognizing stuff now outside of, of GeoGuessr as well. Like stuff that I have learned in GeoGuessr. There we go, that was indeed Switzerland. Like how I've been able to recognize uh, where you where we're at in TV shows based on stuff in the background. I love that. So even just like hanging out with you guys uh, is so much fun to me. It's so rewarding too. All right, we have yellow outer lines right there. Sun to the north, Mandra saying Australia. I'm inclined to believe you, definitely. Do I feel like we're, we're gonna have to travel for ages to find anything to uh, to show us definitely with this one. Um, what do we have? Aren't I, I can't remember what the uh, the outer lines are like in in uh, New Zealand though. You don't think it's Africa? I think you're right about that. Maybe Botswana. Ooh, you might be right, actually. You know what? Let's double check a little bit. Just a little bit. But it does look Australian, doesn't it? You could smell the barbecue. From No, that's probably offensive. I'm sorry. <laughs> the trees aren't very African. True, but you have these small trees in Botswana. Um... I've never been able to see them really up close, but but you can kind of tell as well by how much space you have from the, the shoulder out into the brush, which kind of makes me think Botswana as well. So let's double check. Barbecue is never offensive. True. Oh, I would love some barbecue. I would love some. Would you believe I haven't had barbecue... Like, I haven't had red meat anyway now since the end of February. And I miss it. Oh, look at that. That's a Botswana pole. The black and yellow? I think I'm gonna go ahead and call Botswana. Let's get Botswana on the phone. Right now. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and, and do that. 
What does barbecue mean to you? It's all about family. Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, what does barbecue mean to me? I mean, to me, it's just a physical act of, you know, barbecuing food. And when I say barbecue, I just, I basically just mean the food. But obviously, I, I very rarely fire out the barbecue uh, when I'm on my own. I have done that a few times, but... <laughs> Um, it's a great spot for barbecue. Hell yeah, Badger. I like that. Mander with the uh, Texas Nest better barbecue. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, I would love to travel. Like like I, t I told Badger yesterday, right? I would love to do a US food tour. I feel like I need to because I, I'm so... I grew up with the culture, right? For the most part. And there are so many things that I've picked up throughout the years that I'd love to try. Uh, obviously places I'd love to see and things I'd like to experience as well. But like the food is its own category of stuff that I need to try in restaurants and, and everything, so... Uh, what is Texas style barbecue though? Compared with uh, Oklahoma style barbecue? Because I've heard that the Oklahoma barbecue is just like, it's okay barbecue, right? It's okay. Um, I'd love to try it though. Vinegar, vinegar based sauce? I might fuck with that. I'm not, I'm not huge on vinegar normally, but depending on what it's on and what it's mixed with, I could definitely go for it. Lots of brisket in Texas barbecue. I mean, have I ever had brisket? You know what, let's, let's take it even a step further. Like, what is brisket? <laughs> because I've heard that name so many times. <laughs> what is it actually? <laughs> Well, I don't actually know now that I think about it. I wouldn't be able to define it. Maybe you can. Oh, beef. Beef. I love that. Beef shoulder. All right, cool. I could live with that. Let's send Botswana meanwhile, though. There we go. We're up to 50, chat. We're up to 50. It's the garbage part of the cow. <laughs> well, it does sound delicious, doesn't it? All right, let's... Uh... What is your guys' favorite, like, barbecue item, though? What do you, what, what is your go-to? <gasps> There's the TIE meta again. Remember that one from earlier, chat? That's the Finnish name for road or street. Or something else, I don't know. I just assume that it's road or street. Brisket is so good, it's just gonna be cooked right? I can believe that. I feel like that goes for a lot of stuff though, for the most part. Shredded pork or beef barbecue sandwich from Andrew, that sounds delicious. I feel like I, I don't know if I've had like proper barbecue anything, uh, if I'm honest, like the, the barbecue sauce thing and all of that, right? Um, pulled pork or brisket, hell yeah. I feel like we could get together and chat and have an awesome barbecue, right? I mean, I, I'd be up for it. <laughs> Once I win that uh, that uh, Euro lottery thing, right? I'll, I'm gonna gather everyone. We're gonna have a huge festival, barbecue. Um, I don't know what else though. We should probably invite Harris Heller based on the amount of music that I've uh, utilized throughout these streams from him <laughs> just to do these songs live. That'd be cool. <laughs> Texas is all about smoking brisket for like three days. That sounds delicious though, doesn't it? I love that. Uh, and salt and pepper seasoning. I feel like that's... Salt and pepper seasoning is always understated. It's a workhorse of any meal, really. Sweet Baby Rice is the best store-bought barbecue sauce. <gasps> that sounds familiar though. I might, I might, might have seen that in the, uh, in the stores over here. Like, specialty shops, anyway. Uh, <laughs> that's the best you can find anywhere? Oh, shit. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get my hands on that. And I'll do shots on stream of Sweet Baby Ray's. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'd, I'd do it, too. This is Switzerland again, isn't it? Wait. 
that flag doesn't check out. But there's no blue tags on the plates, and it l looks to me like, uh... No, that is not the, uh, the Swiss emblem thing, is it? Here's the big question from, uh, from Nat in chat. Does Chili have beans? Does Chili require beans? What if this is Andorra, chat? Look at these. Look at the, uh, look at the stones. Look at the stone structure thing. It can and it often does. I feel like that's way less uh, argumentative than I was expecting. <laughs> but okay. Cool. I'm not a big bean person, honestly. It gets all over your elbows and it's all... Don't like it. <laughs> what goes in a beanless chili, though? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and call Andorra on this one. You could... A good tip for Andorra is uh, this kind of stone structure thing that you see going on here. It's all over the country. It's absolutely beautiful. And I mean it when I say that I would love to at least cover parts of my house like this. Um, <laughs> quit sticking your elbows in the beans. <laughs> see, I wish I knew more about that meme to be able to follow that up with something funny, but I don't. That was before my time. And I have nothing. I'm gonna go ahead. That was English? Yeah, I know. But executive decision time. I'm doing it, chat. I'm doing it. We're at 51 and I'm doing it. I'm pulling the executive decision. Just to show you how reliable that stone meta is for Andorra. Alright? Andorra, by the way, the micronation between Spain and France. If you're wondering, it's right there. We're surrounded by mountains as well. And look at this. There we go, Andorra. Oh, you didn't hear me say it. All right, cool. Well, <laughs> there we go. Hell yeah. Okay, um, short dotted outer lines. This is gonna be Sweden, but I'm gonna double check because you never know. Meat, water, and spices goes in in meatless or in beanless chili. Okay, so I've had that. I've had that one for sure. Yeah, would like. Uh, I feel like there were some sweet peppers in there as well. Uh, yeah, some other stuff too. Um, Nat likes beans in chili, but it's not supposed to be in chili. Oh, a chili with beans is supposed to be called a goulash. Oh, all right, gotcha, gotcha. I've heard the name goulash before, at least. I like the name Goulash. Okay, this looks so Swedish to me. Doesn't it? You can kind of feel it, too. You feel that brain fog? That's the Swedish influence for you right there. Um, I'm get, I, I think I'm right about that. The, the, the outer lines sort of make it for me anyway so you're full of useless information hey i love it keep like i keep saying right keep pouring interesting not only country facts but all kinds of facts i love them i love them i, I try to retain as much useless information as possible because it is it, it, one of these days it's gonna come in handy right so i appreciate that there we go that was indeed sweden 53 here we go This is going to be the Baltics. I was going to say this could be Norway, but the white dividing line doesn't fit. And it doesn't fit with Finland either. So I'm going to go ahead and say Estonia, Lithuania, Latvia, or neither. I mean, I'm up for neither too. No blue tag on that one. All right, that's interesting. Yeah, I don't think we, ooh. <gasps> Wait. That's a Danish flag, isn't it? Let's find that Chad Bollard. Where is it? 
with his headband and everything. Stupid, sexy ballers. Where is he? Um, <laughs> Alright, yeah, there we go. That's Danish for you. Okay, I don't think we'll find one. We're too close to the city center, but... It's out there somewhere, just waiting. Just waiting. Uh, that's Denmark, and I don't know where it's probably... If I were to guess, probably like here, let's say. Alright, well, <laughs> that wasn't too far off, actually. 54! Um... I'm completely blanking on this one. Completely blanking, actually. Uh-oh. I was gonna say, like, this could be Balkan, but... No blue tank. What about Croatia? Maybe? Who knows? How long has Greenland been a part of Denmark? Ooh, that is a good question. I'm not actually sure about that. I'd need to pull that up um, online to check that out, actually, for you. Um, but it, it's been a while. I'm, I'm going to go with a while, right? <laughs> that's um, like at least like four years. I feel like that's a safe answer. Uh, yeah, that's going to I'm going to stick with uh, at least four years. Is it from the Viking days? I think it's way later, later than that. But I couldn't tell you for sure. And I feel like it's a situation where it's it's changed, like... I, I don't think it's a protectorate. Or it might actually be a protectorate, I don't know. The, you know the different kind of uh, distinctions that a country or a territory can have, so... 1979! Alright, cool. So yeah, definitely the Viking, Viking days, yeah. For sure. <laughs> That's it. Those were the Minnesota Viking days. Hell yeah. Um, that's not too long though, is it? Oh, 2009? Wait. That can't be right, can it? I feel like I would have heard about that. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you're right. <laughs> Maybe the internet is right and I'm wrong. But if I'm on the internet... How did... I don't know how I don't know what to do with this information. But hey, at least we're learning stuff. Which is kind of cool. From the 18th century until 1979. Then again in 2009. What happened between 79 and, and 2009 though? Greenland was ruled by Denmark from the early 18th century until 1979 when uh, home rule began. In 2009 Greenland approved the Self-Government Act in a referendum. The act means that Greenland can assume additional areas of responsibility. Hell yeah. So it's kind of like, um, kind of like what, what Scotland's moving towards, right? That seems kind of like a similar trajectory with the added, um, the added areas of responsibility anyway. That's kind of cool. I'm all for that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and say this is probably Croatia, but... That's probably a really small area, though. And I've only seen one car. Huh. <gasps> Another car! Still no blue tag! And an angry S. But, I mean, you, you find those in a lot of places, so... <laughs> do we do Croatia? Anyone not feeling Croatia? Anyone, everyone good with Croatia? You're down? Nice, hell yeah. I wonder how hot it gets over here, though. It looks like it would get super hot. Let's do it. Oh, hell yeah. I was not sure on that one, <laughs> but I'm glad you guys agreed with me, hell yeah. Nice. 
That looks like a mix of different languages. So this is probably going to end up being Singapore. I feel like I've seen these uh, signs before as well. Protected area. Uh, yeah, and then you have like five different languages spread around that one. Yeah, it's 100% Singapore. There's the flag too. Nice. That's Singaporean sign meta, I guess. There we go. You bet it doesn't get that hot? It might not, because it's very close to the uh, the coast, right? So they might be cooled off a lot going by that. I'm going to say hungry for this one. We have the antenna with a piece of tape. We have autumnal coverage. And I don't think this is um, Bulgaria, which are the two countries in... I mean, broadly speaking, the two countries in Central Europe with... Uh, Winter coverage. But now the uh, the Gen 4 camera is kind of throwing me off a little bit. But we gotta trust the metas. We could double check a little bit. Double checking a little bit is fine. It's like find like a little bit of language. Or thin holy poly. <gasps> Wait, no, that one. That one helps. Mile marker is kind of like the ones you see in the Baltics, but it's bigger and it's greener. By which I mean it's green because the Baltic ones are blue? Yeah, blue. So that's going to be a Hungary meta for you. Let's send it. There we go. I like that one. And I learned that one pretty recently. <gasps> Don't scare the vegan dogs. They're resting. this oh wait look yeah these ones <laughs> and we land directly on a lithuanian mile marker hell yeah let's send it that's how much i trust this meta Th that's all i need we could have had this in a no, no move no pan no zoom game and it would have been good enough it's lithuania 58 can we make it to 60 though that's the big question See, now this looks Australian to me. But the sun is to the south? Wait. That should place us in the northern hemisphere. So that leaves us with the Balkans. Or, like, Spain, Italy. Specifically with these kind of red tile houses. R red tile roofs, anyway. Huh. Let's see. I don't know what I'm looking for for this one, though. Plates to figure out if it's Italy. Language to figure out if it's Spain. And a mix of those to figure out if it's uh, Portugal, actually. That works out. Okay, we have a car coming up. Let's see. If we have a yellow tag on the right, it's Portugal. If we have a blue tag on the left, it's at least Europe. But we have neither. Oh no. But a red... No, oh, sorry, a yellow backplate? That should indicate the UK, but there is no way. There is no way this is the UK. I'm, this is a tourist, I'm pretty sure. Wait, can we actually see the which side of the car the, the steering wheel is at? It's actually on the left-hand side too. So they're driving on the right hand side, they have what looks like uh, UK plates. Something doesn't add up. I'm suspicious. Huh. How? Why? How? What? I don't like that at all. We have a mystery afoot, chat. A mystery! The position of the sun is the thing that's throwing me off the most as well. Because I still hold that this could easily be like New Zealand or Australia, but... I guess not.
Are we? The arrow is pointing that way. I guess we're going off road, chat. Oh, hang on. Oh, there we go. <laughs> um, tell me that's not Spanish. I mean, tell me it is Spanish, though. Please. That would be so much easier. What does it mean, though? It is nice, hell yeah. That should actually be enough to uh, to say that this is most definitely Spain. I just want to see one more car, since we're now in a Gen 4 area. Just to double check. Oh, you have to get working? All right, good luck. Oh, yeah, I, I forgot to ask you, by the way. I'll ask you later, but I hope you, uh, I hope you have a good time. All right, and good luck. Do your best. Okay, I'm still looking for a car. Actually, we have language, though, don't we? Uh, but I want to find a car just to, to make sure that we're in Europe, because we haven't seen a blue tag yet. And it weirdly doesn't feel like Europe to me. Oh. He looks so fluffy. I like him. Huh. What was that? No. Oh. oh, it's just a pigeon. Nice. No way this is South America? Yeah, I do agree with that. But I'm not feeling Europe for this one either. <laughs> you gotta stop. Damn it. Go! Shoo! Shoo! <laughs> Get to work, alright? Are you still have 20 minutes? Alright, cool, 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 cool. That's alright. <laughs> I didn't mean to shoo you, alright? <laughs> but I don't want to keep you. Like keep you from doing your job I mean that would be irresponsible and I want to be the irres I want to be the responsible one <laughs> don't shoot me meow. <laughs> don't meow me all right it's rude <laughs> all right now I'm just sending Spain on this one apparently there's no cars or they left the ones that they did have back there let's do it Ooh, <gasps> Portugal. See? Damn it. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> that's fine. That's completely fine. We have multiple uh, high level streaks. So we're going to go ahead and pull up one of the bigger ones. Not the biggest one, though. Let's do a hundred. Let's do a hundred plus streak. All right. This one. I just need to update the uh, thing. I, use, I, I like doing that sometimes as well. Let's see. Uh, 100 plus country streak. There we go. It's smart. This could be Mexico, yeah. We do have the white car though, which could indicate Chile. Uh, so I just want to get out onto the main road just to double check a little bit. Chile has the all white lines, like white outer lines, white dividing line and everything. Uh, let's see, it looks like Eastern Europe, yeah, kinda. It's got a little bit of that vibe to it. But the colors of the buildings and stuff though. This is Mexico, all right. I want to make sure though, since we are at 100 plus now. Uh, let's see. I don't. Why do I feel like I should know this one, but I don't? <laughs> Not with the lurker tax. Thank you, thank you. It's important to pay your taxes. It helps the stream. Uh, it keeps the stream running. That's what I mean to say. Um, no beer meta, same. 
same. Oh, look at that. Look at that hat. See, that hat makes me think like, and I, I don't mean this in like a um, stereotypical way. I'm not stereotyping, but I feel like I see those sort of hats a lot in Bolivia or Peru. I'm guessing it's a traditional kind of a garb, right? Where do the taxes go? Great question. Um, what does this mean? Let's see. Let's see if we can figure out this sign over here. Um, <laughs> this might be true. True. And it would fit. Actually, the white car would fit with both. Um, let's see. I'm just thinking back. Didn't we pass a taxi back there with yellow plates? Oh, no. The taxi not is for Ecuador. I'm sorry. Ooh, I'm scared with this one. This is my weakness. What is Cristal, though? I've, I've heard that name so many times. I have no idea what that is. It feels like it would fit with the beer meta, though. <laughs> it has to be a beer, yeah, true. We need to learn that one so we could add it. Beer for who? For Crystal. Huh. Right, well, we have a few different businesses, but that doesn't really help, does it? Hmm. I'm looking for city names. And that's about it, because that's all I have. <laughs> what if they put Crystal Champagne in cans? That sounds... I would try that, actually. I'm pretty sure that's blasphemous, but it's fine. <laughs> I'd be curious to try it. I mean, I've had Guinness in a can, so... I'm okay with it. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, this is difficult. I, I'd need like a, a city, a sign pointing us towards a major city or something. That would, that would be super helpful. It is completely blasphemous, yeah, probably. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't want to call you out on it, but yeah. <laughs> but I would try it, just to be able to say that I've, I've had it, you know? It's a... Uh, it, for some reason, that's important to me. Collecting those experiences. We do have a few signpost meta things, don't we? It's not a black background, so it's not Brazil. Not that we thought it was Brazil, but... Uruguay has wooden poles, which this isn't. Peru usually has a lot of stripy poles, and this one doesn't. So I feel like we're left with Bolivia. It's not Colombia because the uh, the license plate isn't yellow. Huh. Not as voting Peru. I do see that one. If if I if I'd seen like um a little bit more of the Peruvian meta, I, w I would definitely agree with you. But the, the feeling of the place definitely gives me uh, Peruvian vibes. The sun is... well, of course it's to our east. Just to make it extra difficult. <laughs> A sweet kitty came down to visit you and walked away. Ah, oh, that's so cute though. You saw the billboard with three people on it. Wait, you did? That... oh, I wonder how. What if that's like a super solid piece of meta? Would we be, be willing to... Uh, to bet a hundred streak on it, though. Because we're at a hundred right now. I'm scared of losing it. <laughs> yes. Okay, let's do it. No, don't. Wait, no, but I wanna. <laughs> okay, give me, like, give me three minutes to travel down the, uh, the road here, just to double check. We could find, um... The problem is, though, I don't actually know what I'm uh, what I'm looking for right now. I don't know power pole metas in uh, in South America. 
But I'm pretty confident it's not Colombia, it's not Ecuador, it's not... It, mm, it's probably not Chile. It's definitely not Argentina, it's probably not Uruguay, and it's definitely not Brazil. So we're kind of left with Peru or Bolivia. It looks like Chile. Oh, also Gerkard, hi. Uh, it's flat like Chile. True. The position of the sun, though. What if we're like way up north in Chile? Or something. The politician matter. <gasps> oh, you're right. And that would indicate that was Peru, wasn't it? Look at the sun again. There it is. Don't stare at it for too long, though. It's not good for you, apparently. There it is. It is definitely to our east. You have no confidence in this. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's... I tell myself that every morning when I wake up and look in the mirror. <laughs> How'd you know? <laughs> You're the worst guesser when we do Jack Esther. You're not, though. You are definitely not the worst. You beat me multiple times. All right. <laughs> huh. Gearcraft thanks, Chile. Which would check out with the all white lines, right? I wish I had some more meta, though, to, uh, to support it. The white car, of course, also. But I think both of those also goes for Peru, so it could be like, we could be in this region too. Huh. They look like Chile poles too? I don't know the Chile poles, but I'm, I, I do trust that one. Huh. My gut feeling said Chile though. Because of the white car, it's the, uh, it's among the very first metas that I learned. Hmm. What is that? Do we have a... Uh... There's no city names on this one. We might be... We might be getting close to somewhere. Oh, look at that. We might get some city names out of this one. Ooh, I mean, just sneak up on it. I had to dub... I had to W asked it. Dolores, Colipuli, and Los Angeles, apparently. Conception is the city name in Chile. Oh, <gasps> there it is. Can we find Los Angeles as well? And the others. <laughs> Flunk, good even afternoon, night, morning. How are you? <laughs> Hope you're doing well. I, I'm never sure what time of the day it is. It's probably evening now, though, right? Los Angeles, Chile. Hell yeah. All right. Hey, <laughs> it's the US, clearly. I... Yeah, that's what I've heard, too. Actually. I kind of want to go there as well. Is it is, is LA worth visiting? I feel like it it wouldn't be. I feel like there's like a few sites that you'd need to uh, to catch, and then I mean, what is there? Uh, what else? <laughs> it's gross. Yeah, that's kind of what I've heard as well. And I kind of want to see it to um, because I've I've seen though so many of those places um, like on TV and stuff. So I'd, I'd kind of like to go there again just to say that I've been there, but. It's something to behold, yeah, true. Chile poles, car road lines, and Chilean Los Angeles. There we go. That's good enough. All right, cool. Let's go. It was indeed Chile. Well done. I think Gearcraft was the uh, the first one to be absolutely sure of that one. Well done. We're at 101. Like the amount of Dalmatians that I saw last Sunday. Is that Hebrew? That might be. Wait, yellow tags. So we're in Israel. I'm so bad with languages. It is Israel? Nice. All right, let's do it. 
It is Israel. Is Israel. We used to live just east of LA. Hell yeah. Nice. I mean, apparently not nice, but still. <laughs> 102. Uh, but I, I want to go visit there at some point as well. <laughs> All right. Uh, now that's Spanish. Now this is Spanish. Or Portuguese. That might be a yellow tag on the right hand side there. I think it might be. I think it might be. <gasps> it is. This is Portugal. Unless it's a Taurus. No, that one's got a yellow one as well. That one. Yeah. Hell yeah, let's do it. Bam. Portugal. 103. Can we make it to 110? Isn't there an arrow sign meta? I don't know if there is for Spain and Portugal, but I know there is for um, uh, Czechia and Slovakia. Uh, they definitely have. Like, where Czechia, the entire sign is kind of shaped like an arrow. And um, in Slovakia, the arrow is inside the sign, like the one that we saw before. We have rifts, people. There's definitely rifts. Uh, to me, that's going to indicate Albania or Montenegro. <laughs> definitely Antarctica. It could be in a couple of years if... Th no, that's... I don't want to <laughs> want to get into that. It's too sad. <laughs> oh. Senegal, send it? I don't think so, though, is it? This looks more um, Balkan to me. I feel like it is more Balkan, uh, but which one? Montenegro or Albania? <laughs> You're just messing? Damn it. <laughs> all right, all right. Keeping my eye on you, right? <laughs> Let's see. Do you see that rock on that sign? Yeah, this one? Are you gonna blow my mind with some new matter right now? I am waiting. This rock, right? This rock, this rock, that rock. I'm waiting. This is gonna be cool. Six month, day and night. Hey, that's basically my life already, all right? <laughs> I like it though. I like the uh, I like the the summer half when it's light all the, all the way through the night. But the six months of darkness. I mean, not quite though. But all the darkness. This music would indicate it's most likely St. Kitts and Abyss. I don't get the reference. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, let's see. <laughs> you know that rock? It hits you in the head when you're five? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> that, explains, that explains a lot, yeah. But I mean, that's all right. Some of the best people I know were hit by rocks in the head when they were five. Look at the uh, the license plates on these ones. These are not Albanian license plates. There's no double blue. There's no red tag. So that leaves Montenegro to me. Maddy with the uh, lucid glasses. All right, let's do this. It's gonna be. I, I can still kind of see, but it's uh, it's more difficult for sure. Uh, <laughs> but let's do it. I think this one's uh, this one's good though. Montenegro. You just picked a random country. Floating in your head? Alright, cool. It works! There we go. The deduction. This is, um... Okay, let's do this no move. Actually, I'm not gonna, but... Is this North America or, like, Australia, New Zealand? There's no double blue on the... No double yellow on the outside. Uh, there to indicate like no parking. So I would probably say North America. If you pluck my beard here, do you, do I send it via mail? I could send it via wind. I could. That's the best I could do for you. <laughs> I'll just throw it out the window and one day in the future, when you're having your salad, right? You can just feel like there's a hair in your mouth, and bam, there it is. It arrived. And you'll know it's me. 
I'm not gonna say how you know it's me, but you'll know that it's me. Never seen yellow parking lines. Oh. You know, that's actually a good point. That is actually a good point. I'm looking for uh, plates. Oh, <gasps> yellow plate though. Isn't it? Isn't that a US th or, or a uh, New York thing? It might be. <laughs> Wind is, believe it or not, worse than snail mail. I cannot believe that. United Federal C Credit Union. That's got to be a US thing. I mean, considering there is no federal anything in, in Canada, right? Hmm. Upset New York, probably? Oh, yeah. Interstate 94. It's the US for sure. <laughs> All right, Badger, see you around. All right. Thank you again uh, for that resub. I appreciate you so much and have just the best day. Just have the best day, right? It's Wednesday. We're approaching the weekend. You've got this. You think it's Massachusetts? All right, cool. I'm going to say... I'm going to go with New York as well. Because of the uh, the yellow plate that I saw back there. That's about it. That's all I have. Let's do it. There we go. All right. Well, it was Michigan. Huh. I don't think I've ever landed there before. That's cool, though. 105. Ooh, I was going to call this one early. Uh, it's Bolivia or Peru for sure. And I believe it might be... I'm going to say Bolivia. But... Oh, black car. <gasps> Wait, stripey, stripey, stripey signpost. It's Peru. This is a Peruvian signpost if I've ever seen one. Peruvian bollard? Wait. Did I miss a bollard? Oh. All right. Oh, look at that. It's got a little helmet on. That's so cute. I don't think I've ever seen that one. I like it. Peru? Yeah, he's got a little yellow hat. So cute. We're all wrong in the state. Michigan has a special Mackinac bridge plate that is yellow. Are you still pulling my leg or is that a... <laughs> that, sounds, that sounds real though. I, I can believe that. I love these hats, chat. How do I get... How do I get my hands on a, on a hat like that? They look so comfortable and cool. I probably shouldn't be wearing it, though. Oh, Nat, I'm sorry. The bot got you there. I see your link, though. I see it. Let's see if I can bring it up. This is how much I trust you, right? I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Open the link. Unseen. Oh, look at that! Oh, that's so cool! I love the colors of these ones. That's awesome looking. I need one of those. Should I? No. <laughs> I was about to ask. Should I start collecting US plates? The answer is no. I shouldn't. But that was so pretty though. So maybe? <laughs> maybe. Alright, welcome to Peru. Nice. 106. And we could say pretty confidently, welcome to Guatemala. Pretty sure. Just double checking, trying to find some language. Okay, that doesn't fit. That doesn't fit at all. That says beer lao. If this is lao, I'm counting the beer meta. If it ends up being lao, nah, but it wouldn't be though. 
It is. <gasps> Not unless you're an Applebee's on the uh, on the, um, the plate collection, right? Do they do that? I've never, obviously, I've never been to an Applebee's before. Okay, fuck it. I'm counting the beer meta. If that, actually, I should have waited to see if it actually ends up being low, but I'm counting it anyway. There we go. 107. Mongolia. See this with the uh, with the uh, the tent on top, right? Typical, typical Mongolia. I mean, not typical in the in the sense that everyone rides around with tents on top that are cars, but um, you know the Google Street View. Chili stars and Applebee's and Chili are the same place. I get to learn so many interesting things, though. I love it. <laughs> Pico with the facts, yeah. <laughs> I didn't even see that one. I <laughs> also yeah, Nat. I'm sorry. It's so much more difficult. Oh, it's been five. It's been seven minutes though. I could put my glasses back on. I gave Matty a couple of minutes extra with that one. Oh, it's so good. Ah, oh. <laughs> waiting for the perfect moment to send me a link with the virus. Yeah, true. I mean, I am normally very cautious, though, but I could see that that was a Google link, and I could read what, what it contained. So, I mean, I didn't do it completely sight unseen, but still, it's definitely Mongolia. Has any any one of you been to Mongolia? I would love to go. Uh, I spoke with a with a girl the other day um, who said she, she'd been kayaking in the north of Mongolia at some point. Uh, for work. I think it was up here? I don't know for sure, though, but that sounded awesome. It did. Ah, oh, sight, yeah. <laughs> for work, yeah. Uh, I probably shouldn't be talking about what kind of work, though, because I think uh, that it's pretty... It's a pretty unique kind of work. It seemed like... So it was an interesting conversation. Uh, let's see, let's go. There we go. Yeah, until you get the non-tent car in Mongolia. Yeah, I always shit myself whenever that happens because I can't remember if it's Kyrgyzstan or, or Mongolia. The amount of streaks that I've thrown away not getting that into my thick skull and my absolute, you know, applesauce of a brain. Um, this is Japan, though. We are low cammed, um, and look at this car. It's just, and the house, I guess, and everything. Straight up, Japan. Kyrgyzstan always gets you, yeah. It's, it's a difficult one, for sure. There we go. Ooh, this one. See, if this were chat guesser, right? This one would have been divisive as heck. It would have been... Yeah, just difficult. I, I'm actually going to go ahead and assume that this is Canada. For no reason in particular. For now. Oh, frick. I'm sorry, Mandra. I mean... Oh, f fuck! I'm sorry! I didn't mean to swear on, on stream. Um, saved it, though. Okay, let's see. Let's have a look at the plate. Ooh, look at that. Look at that! The beautiful black dots of Argentina, chat. Look at it! Do we, do we need to double check on this one? I don't think we do. I, I will repeat the fact that it, it might be one of my favorite uh, metas, and I don't know why. It's just so cool looking. Huh. I trust it. I trust it. The black dots of Argentina, yeah. They're so unique looking. I think that's why I like them. Uh, and you can could, you could tell through blur, and sometimes you get no blur. And it just looks cool. This is the most Russian-looking Argentina seed you've seen. 
I, I, I was thinking Canada there for a minute. It could have been like the Northern Territories of Canada. Turns out it was the complete opposite uh, down there in Argentina. I mean, at least I hope it is because... The, I mean, this might be a convoy of Argentinian tourists, though. Who knows? But I'm going to send it anyway. There we go. There we go. Definitely Argentina. 110 now. 110. I'm zooming in. I'm seeing some yellow plates and I'm seeing some blue tags. Wait. Alright. Hear me out. This is Denmark. Oh, wait, that... Okay, there's a Swedish flag over there. Uh, the yellow plate threw me off, though? Why? <laughs> I'm sorry, Sweden. This is not Denmark, right? I don't know what happened there. But the, the word threw me off because it, it, it looked Scandinavian. I was going to say France at first because of the yellow tag. Or the yellow plate, rather. But, yeah, it's definitely Swedish. There we go. There's a bit of Swedish for you there. Okay, so this is the, uh, this is a simple recipe for a bridge. One part cement, two parts sand, uh, three parts gravel, uh, and then a couple of thousand tons of, uh, what would be the, uh, what do you call that? You know, the, the rebar. There we go. A couple of thousand, thousand tons of rebar. That's how you build a bridge, chat. See, don't ever tell me that you don't learn stuff from watching my streams, all right? I just taught you how to build your very own bridge at home. Huh? Now get out there and build your own bridge, all right? Put pictures in the Discord, please. I'd love to see them. <laughs> Before and after. We need to see the New England roads. Are they especially bad? <laughs> oh, shit. They just pave over old roads without tearing them up. Oh, shit. Well, I think that's what the uh, the previous owner of my uh, of, uh, of my driveway did, to be honest. It's in a bad shape. And getting it fixed is so expensive. One day, though, probably next summer, I'm going to get to... Uh, I'm going to get to fixing that. You've started your bridge construction in your backyard? I'm glad. Just remember that simple recipe, all right? Wait, how do you build a bridge? I'll, I'll show you. All right, I have the recipe right here. Uh, this is literally what it says. This is the uh, the simple recipe for a bridge, all right? One part cement, two parts sand, three parts gravel, and then a couple of tons of rebar. That's all you need, all right? Get building. <laughs> There we go. Let's get to Sweden. There we are. Hell yeah. 111, chat. Oh, we have a snorkel at the front of the car. This is going to be Kenya. Another one of the countries where I wish that I got to look around more because usually you just spawn in, see the snorkel, send Kenya, and that's it. But it looks like a beautiful country, and I'd love to get to know them better. So hopefully on the next update, they'll uh, pick a car without an actual snorkel on it. Look at that. Oh, with the more traditional looking houses and everything. That looks so cool. I love it. Tiwi Beach Resort. Oh, we could stay there, chat. This could be where we have our uh, our barbecue. Dibs on this. I want to live there. <laughs> All right. Welcome to Kenya, though. There we go, 112. Just mix it like clay and poof bridge. Yeah, that's exactly what's going to happen. Just like throw all the rebar in there and just mix it up. And then the next day when you get back... Uh, you have your very own bridge. I mean, you also... You you, you know what? I'm going to leave the, the surprise up there for you. Uh, I don't want to spoil that. So, uh, I'm going to say this is probably Malta, but I'm going to look for... Nope. Actually, it might still be. 
Um, it's Spain, isn't it? It's just Spain, though. We need to decide where we'll have it. Yeah, true. But, I mean, that's... Why do you think I keep doing these uh, GeoGuessr streams? Do you think I'm actually trying to guess the countries? No. I'm looking for places where we could meet up. But I have some very specific requirements. Uh, so it, it, it's taken me a while, but, but I'll get I'll get back to you with that. I would actually love to do that. That'd be so much fun. Uh, with the thicker red outline on this one, I'm gonna go ahead and say more than likely Spain. Let's just see if we could see the uh, the blue tags on the cars over here. Yep, there it is. There's no yellow. Uh, I'm gonna send it. I mean, it might be one of the islands, but it's definitely Spain. Trans Thursdays at Eden. Right now we know where to where to meet up. Oh yeah. I don't know any of these uh, these artists actually. I think I've heard this name before. I mean that's the only these are the only two or three names that I'm able to actually read out though. But still, it's Ibiza. Nice. It's all right. Have you been there? Have you been to Trans Thursdays? I love that. That's so cool. 113 too. All right. Well, long antenna, neon yellow outline on these. Oh, it said to be on the sign. All right. Well, I don't get paid to read. All right. That's you're expecting too much of me, right? <laughs> I've never read anything in my life. What do you what do you want from me? I'm still looking around a little bit. This is Russia, I think you might be right. I don't see the red car. Um and the long antenna is a uh, is a uh, typical matter for that one. So let's send it. There we go. Nice. 114. Alright, well. <laughs> where is this going to be then? Black car. Oh, it's Bolivia or it's Argentina. <gasps> Nat? Pop quiz. Where are we? <laughs> Anyone remember? <laughs> yeah, it's the black dot. It's the black dot meta. There it is again. Argentina, you're so right. Well done. Hell yeah. Look at how look at how clearly you can see it on that one. It's such a good one. And it's always right. 115. Let's go. I love it. Uh Koopa. Why do I have a feeling that could be like, um... That sounds Baltic somehow. <gasps> Wait, a flag. A flag. It's Slovakia or, um... Slovenia? Flag? Oh, there it is. I, I need to double check. I'm so bad with the, the flags. It's not the Slovakian one. It's Croatia, then. That is the Croatian flag, isn't it? Croatia, yeah, there we go. Caro, good evening, by the way. How are you? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. Jordan or the UAE? I can't remember. I can never remember which one has the uh, the triangle and which one has the rectangle. I want to say probably UAE, though. Yes, I'm right. I'm so good at this. <laughs> hey, do you have a weekend already, Caro? How are you? How does that happen? Bring me with you! <laughs> Looks like a colorful goose. Oh, you're right! That does look like a colorful goose. Look at his little head up here. And he's got like a... His little feet down there. Cute! And then his little wing right there. 
<laughs> Alright. <laughs> Let's send it. There we go. Hell yeah. When was the last time, chat, that you laid down in the grass, looked up, and just looked at the clouds and tried to make out shapes? It's been a while, hasn't it? You should do that. You should do that this weekend. Oh, holidays. Hell yeah, Caro. Hell yeah. Nice. I mean, we have a lot of those as well, though. Uh, especially in May. There's a lot of those in May. Not too long ago. Oh, nice. Hell yeah, Amanda. I like that. Did you guys have an accident and you're exchanging insurance information? Let me just sneak up and zoom in on your car looking for tags. Don't mind me. <laughs> they are, yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> See, that's the, uh, this is the, it's just the quintessential, like, white middle-aged man in a fender bender pose and everything. It's just perfect, isn't it? I love it. Or it could be a drug dealer, right? It could be. But, like, the, the body language and everything, and... Yeah. Someday that's gonna be me, chat. Someday soon, probably. Alright. <laughs> oh, when you twisted your ankle in the park block, holy shit. Well, at least you spent the time wisely. And I hope you made a full recovery. What about the post bag? There was a post bag? I didn't even see that. I guess the mind sees what the mind wants to see, right? I mean, like, speaking of laying down, looking at the clouds, so... <laughs> I, I, my mind just wants to see people by the side of the road exchanging insurance information. That's... To me, that's one of the most beautiful things you could see in nature, really. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna... What's wrong with me, chat? What happened? I used to be fun. Oh. <laughs> All right, we have something. I... Mm. This is not the right time for a brain fart. I don't... The, I was gonna say probably Romanian, but the, the flag doesn't fit. Unless that's actually yellow and not white. But it looks white. It is Romania. <gasps> but you would agree with me that that looks white though, right? In the middle? That's not yellow, is it? It's just faded? Yeah. Yeah, see, then the, the entire language thing checks out. <laughs> Alright, cool. Welcome to Romania. There we go. It's been a while. It's been a while. Australia or New Zealand? I was gonna add or North America, but I don't think this is it. Because we're driving on the left-hand side. Ooh, there was a giveaway sign with red text in the middle. Welcome, then, to New Zealand. And, of course, we have the white signposts. Be safe, chat. Oh, that's so cute. That really is. Be safe, alright? See, that's the kind of good guys you find in New Zealand, right? I'd love to go there, though. I'd love to go there. I'll visit Ryan's Bakery. And then I'll stop by the uh, the Unicam Davies Corner Pharmacy, because I probably got something with nuts in it. So I need to hit the pharmacy. And then the laundromat, because, like, serious allergies will make you shit yourself. But it's time for pizza, because, you know, pizza. Uh... And then a haircut, but god damn it. <laughs> this isn't fun anymore. <laughs> Let's move on. Alright, there we go. <laughs> Where is Old Zealand? Isn't that in, um... Isn't that actually in, uh... The Netherlands? I think it might be. Uh, <laughs> yellow backplate, white front plates, welcome to the UK. 
<gasps> it's my actual old car. I mean, not actually like this exact car, but I had this exact car before. I loved it. I love... Why am I zooming in on Norway? Uh, <laughs> this is the UK. <laughs> there we go. I do have an Atalji, yeah. Yo, Nate! There you go! Guys, welcome. Nate explores. Hell yeah, I told you before I couldn't nail that name. I, I remember you changed it. Um, I couldn't remember if it was Nate Explores or Nate tra Travels. I did catch a few of your uh, your IRL streams though. Welcome, welcome guys. Holy shit, how are ya? And thank you for the dono earlier, yeah. Appreciate you so much. Like I said before, if anyone here hasn't before, I'm gonna do it now because I couldn't remember the name before. Uh, give Nate a follow, right? Good guy. Fun guy. Do it. <laughs> do it now. <laughs> All right. Uh, how are you? Yeah. What have you been up to today? What have you been up to today? What have you been, uh, what have you been streaming? Something cool, I bet. I'm gonna click the UK for this one, meanwhile. You played GeoChatter and you did too much karaoke. Is there really such a thing? That's too much karaoke? I don't believe you. This is Ghana with this piece of tape right there. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, Goth... Is that got... got... Goth Rush. There we go. I struggled through that one, Goth Rush. Thank you so much for the follow. I was like, Goat Rush? Go, go Thrust? Go. Nope, it's Goth Rush. Nice! Hell yeah, appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, this is definitely Ghana, though. Uh, let's see. We should have a karaoke redemption. One day, I'm actually gonna go ahead and consider that. Uh, one day I'm also gonna tell the story of why that would be kind of unlikely because I at some point I was interviewed to um be in a reality show believe it or not I will tell that story at some point now is not the time though uh and they asked me to and I'm guessing they asked because they wanted to see how spontaneous I am they asked me to sing a song and at that point I was like no I'm not ever singing in front of anyone not even myself like I'll wear I wear, I wear earplugs in the shower to not hear myself sing. Uh, <laughs> but that's how uh, unlikely it would have been that I uh, sang in front of anyone, let alone the internet. But we'll see. We'll see. I'm not opposed to it. <laughs> that's about it. You demand karaoke too, damn it. You are not in the position to make demands, all right? <laughs> yes, you absolutely are, though. You absolutely are, and it might happen. This is, um... Guatemala. I think. I will double-check and look for some language, because I'm never quite sure with these cars. You find them in uh, a lot of different places. Could be... And I know you're gonna call me out on it, but... You... It looks like the one that you find in Uganda, and it kinda looks like the one that you find in... Kyrgyzstan as well, parts of Mongolia. Don't at me, <laughs> but yeah, that's about it. Could be Uganda. You're right, though. What if it actually is? Um, feel free, though. By the way, for those of you, if if anyone stuck around after that raid, I appreciate that so much. Feel free to to chip in with uh, with hints, tips, just direct callouts if you want. Because I enjoy learning from chat, and I really like hanging out with you guys. Plonk is thinking Guatemala. Caro does not think this is the Netherlands. Yeah, you're right. It's not flat enough, and I haven't seen a single bicyclist so far. So I think you might be right about that. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and say this is probably Guatemala. Let's do it. There we go, 122. Can we make 130? Unlikely, but... You wish you could live in the Netherlands? Dude, same. Dude, same. 
I mean, I'd live... I want to live everywhere. <laughs> that's, that's a problem. I wish I could kind of just... Like, my ultimate dream, right, is selling everything that I own, buying a sailboat, because I am a boomer with boomer dreams, uh, and just sailing the world. And I'm, uh, it's gonna happen, right? It's gonna happen. At some point... What map am I playing? Oh, this is um, this is just like country streaks, so it's just the country streak um, rotation, whatever you whatever you call it. Um, but it's yeah, it's definitely uh, they have like sixty thousand different drops. So there's a lot. I mean, it's not the biggest, but it does me well. And I'm not good enough to do like the the five k sort of distance game. Okay, I can't get out of this. Where are we? Yeah, the normal one. Are, are there other country streak maps? Have I missed that? Holy, if that's the case, that would be so cool. Like, if there were some special kind of uh, streak maps. I haven't been able to find them, though. I would love that. <laughs> okay, that's... I think we might have gotten out of this neighborhood now. Let's see. Okay, I think I saw some Spanish back there. That's definitely Spanish. Okay, what do we have to work with? Not a whole lot. Hell yeah, Mander, you should look into that. That would be so cool. I've been to the Netherlands three three times or so. A lot of yellow plates. Is this going to end up being Colombia? Yellow plates. I wait. I did see Spanish though. And the yellow plates should be a Colombian meta. Find a stop sign. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's so cool looking i want it i want it i don't think there's any other countries in south america with yellow plates at all actually now that i think about it let's uh let's see i trust it i trust the meta we gotta trust the metas they've never let yes they have <laughs> i was about to say they've never let us down before but i mean Sure they have. In some painful ways, too. But, yeah. That was indeed Colombia. Alright. Um, I'm just thinking. What is going on with the car, though? Are we low camped right now? This couldn't possibly be Switzerland, could it? Oh, Japan! <gasps> oh, yeah! See, my Japan radar, my Japan, J J Japan dar, my Japan, I, I can't intuit Japan anymore. It's, it's, it's gone. I've lost it. Japan. Yeah. Oh, chat guesser. Hey, that's not a bad idea, actually. We are quite a few people out here now. Uh... Oh, let's see. But it is six o'clock already. I actually, I, mm. Oh, that is a good question. You know what? Let's do, let's do a round of uh, chat guess. Or why not? I'm, I'm going to send the Japan one on this one though. <laughs> That's right. We, we, we have time for a chat guess around. Sure. Absolutely. You know what? Because you've been so good today, chat. Because you have been so good today. You've been on your best behavior all day. Let's uh, let's fire up the chat guesser, all right? The rest of you guys, if you want to join in, you can type exclamation point uh, chat or CG in chat. Uh, click the link and make guesses with me. See if you can get the closest. I'm doing ADW though, um, because we didn't do that one at all last night. <laughs> what does theirs mean? I, I can I can explain that one quickly. It's not an interesting story, and I. Uh, yeah, so it, there, there is, would be a heavy bastardization of uh, uh, my name when I was a baby, 
that I used to call myself because I wasn't able to speak properly. Still not able to speak properly, but that's it. <laughs> not an interesting, interesting story, but I needed a name and there you go. Uh, all right. Yeah. Click the link in chat there if you want to join in. I'm going to put the two minutes on the uh, on the clock up top there. And yeah, make your guesses. Get your guesses in, people. I'm just going to go ahead and update the um, the uh, title. Meanwhile, and then I'm going to turn the, I'm going to turn the uh, the camera around. Don't worry. What am I doing? There we go. And there we go. I think that worked. Let me know. <laughs> that is a... Why are you wearing a muscle? I wonder where we're at. This one could be a tricky one for those of us who play a lot of country streaks, maybe. Mandur with the initial guess there. A streak of zero so far. A uh, distance of 25, 22. That, that is a decent guess, though, depending on where we're at. I have a little bit of an inkling that this one might be tricky. I don't know for sure, but I've heard some things that might... That might be tricky about this one. Plonk coming in as well. Getting the country and a distance of 820 meters? Wait. How? Where is this? Am I missing something? Was there a roadside or something? What? Or was that just a really good plonk? I mean, there is a sign right there, but I can't read it. Hmm. That was well done, though. Nat. 711 kilometers. Also a very good guess there, everybody. 15 seconds remain in the round, though. So get your guesses in if you want to join up. It's not about being the best it's all about having fun if you tell me you'll give it away true uh you could tell me once i close the guesses though so that I'm, i'll be the only one with information and then i could use that information to rule the world <laughs> uh, all right i'm closing the guesses and then i'll make my own um <laughs> there we go all right i'm gonna assume based on a few of these guesses right uh, because you see the uh, the written language. What I will do is I will assume that this is a country. Uh, this is a country that is not normally seen in country streaks. So, uh, I'm going to go right there. I don't know. But I have a feeling, just like a, an inkling, just like a tickle in the bottom of my stomach. Uh, something. I don't know. Oh, well, damn it. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. Uh, wasn't it Hong Kong? I don't know what the, uh, what the, the giveaway was for that one, but... I don't know. Uh, Plonk, absolutely crushing that one at 820. Nat, not far behind at 711 kilometers. We have myself in 805 and Mander in 25, 22. Well done. You thought it was South Korea? Oh yeah, that makes sense too. We all got the, uh, the area of the world right. So I feel like we, uh, I feel like we all did pretty well on that one. Left hand drive, English and Cantonese, and yellow backplate. Oh, and the mountains. All right, cool. You have an eye for that. Well done. I didn't notice the left hand drive either. So there we go. Next round, though. Two more minutes back up. Two more. Two. two, two. God damn it. Okay, well, I'll do it manually. <laughs> two more minutes from now. Get your guesses in. All right, we have some red soil, some interesting vegetation. We have a bike over there. Uh, what else? A power pole? Might be a, a hint to some. Certainly not me. Well, this is going to be another really difficult one, isn't it? 
Let's have a look upstairs here, see if there's any rifts. There's no rifts. Let's look down at the car. No information there. Plonk getting the country right. First try. Uh, 261 kilometers. Well done. That is really well done. Zoom in on the guy on the bike. Let's if I can do this without, like... Can I do this so I don't have to zoom in on kids? <laughs> Is that all right? You can see him right up there. There we go. Uh, let's look around a little bit more. Try to zoom in down the street over there. Mander coming in as well. 16,578. That'll still get you a score of one, though. So that is a valiant effort. Valiant effort. Let's see. Uh, nothing going on down there. I would say, let's see, when did the round itself begin? 10 seconds remain, I'd say, more or less. <laughs> one whole point. Hey, that's impressive. All right. I couldn't hit one point if I tried. So that's pretty impressive. There's the, uh, there's your sir on the bike again. <laughs> Nat coming in with a guest there as well. Well done. I'm going to close the guesses in about five seconds. Uh, and then I'm going to make my own guess. Alright. Oh, <laughs> you suck, you don't. This might be a tricky one. I'm going to go ahead and say this is... Mm, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this is... Mm. He's driving on the right-hand side of the road, right? Uh, so we know it's not Thailand, at least. What else do we have? Uh, we don't have the position of the sun... Oh, this is difficult, though. We are in a car, so we know that it's not Thailand. Uh, it's not Vietnam. But we are in this region. So if it's not Thailand, it's not Vietnam. We don't have language to go by, so we don't know if it's Cambodia or Laos. What if we're down there? We know it's not Indonesia, because there's no blur on the front of that dude's motorcycle. I'm gonna go with my gut. And say this, I would have said Vietnam, honestly. But the metas don't line up. So we'll go with a country that borders Vietnam. We'll go up here. In Lao. Let's see if I can get any closer, though I might not be. Here we go. On the drop. That was not too bad, was it? Not too shabby, I'd say. That was indeed Cambodia. Plonk crushing that one 261 kilometers away. What was the uh, the giveaway on that one, though, Plonk? I, I feel like I, I still got to learn something in between the rounds because it's so interesting to me. Uh, myself landed at 736 kilometers. Mandra at 16,578. And we have Nat at 18,719. Well done, everybody. You shouldn't have asked me to look. Oh, Let's see where you ended up. I'm zooming out not to make fun of you, but to see how you're thinking. I could see those guesses for sure. Absolutely. I get that. To me, I think the, the vegetation looked a little bit more like, uh, like we were in this region. Uh, but I see that one. Absolutely. The right-hand drive, yeah, true, true. Uh, yeah, let's get on to round number three, though. Hopefully the uh, the countdown timer works this time. There we go, it does. You have two minutes, starting now. I mean, starting five seconds ago. Uh, let's look around a little bit. All right, we start with this sign right here. Don't know what that says. Probably says fire hydrant. Let's be honest. Uh... But I don't know for sure who's going to be the first guess on this one. We have some interesting looking vegetation over there. A house in the background. And then this tower. Which looks suspiciously like another tower. That might be connected to this same location. Who knows? I, I'm just assuming things. Uh, 
And you know what they say. Stop assuming things or I'm gonna beat your ass. That's what people have told me that. Uh, we have some cars over there in the distance. What else? Nat and Plonk both coming in at the very same time. Nat at 99.9 .9 kilometers, a sub 100 there. And Plonk not far behind the 362. Well done, holy shit. Half a minute remains though of the round. You still have time. I don't really know what else to zoom in on. Uh, let's see if I can find the sun for you, it's right there. Sub 8000, you're right, I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's, I mean, I'm deviating from the norm. Uh, but that is indeed. Sub 8000, well done. I think you were on the last one as well though. So that is pretty awesome. Look at the houses, there's a few mountains in the background there as well. I'm gonna zoom in on this again. And the time is up, I'm gonna go ahead and close the guesses. And then I'm gonna make my own guess. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and say... Huh. Do I trust my gut on the... I do. I will trust my gut on this one. And I'm gonna go ahead and say this is probably Japan. I don't know where, but... Let's just go, like, there. Yeah. Right there. Feel good about that one. Let's see. There we go, it was indeed Japan. Nat, as ever, the closest one between me and them. 99.9, uh, .9, well done. And starting a streak, currently a streak of one. Myself in second, and Plonk in third. Let's zoom out a little bit. We don't have to zoom out too far, though. Uh, let's see, there we go. Well done, everybody. Nice. All right. Let's go on to round number four. I feel like this is still actually still anyone's game. Two minutes on the clock. Here we go. What do we have? All right. We have some some cars down the road there. Uh, anything else? Let me know if you want me to zoom in on anything in particular. But I'm going to go ahead and zoom down the street. See if we could figure something out going off of that. Ah, well spotted, well spotted, Nat. There you go. There is indeed a flag. Do I remember which flag that is? Not necessarily. We'll see. We'll find out. What else do we have down this way? There's a bit less than a, m or a bit more than a minute remaining now, about a minute remaining. Uh, no one's guessed yet, though. I'm interested to see what you're thinking on this one. <laughs> you don't know why you ask, you don't know flags? See, that's what I uh, struggle with as well, sometimes. I know a few of them, but honestly, when I, when I, like the very first time when I started out doing this, I was so bad with flags and I've picked that up as well uh, so GeoGuessr is actually a really good way of learning a lot of stuff I would say like I've learned a little bit of uh, geopolitics I've learned a little bit of history I've learned customs I've learned flags I've learned I mean obviously geography it's the perfect game Nat early with a streak of two now 263 kilometers away from the target well done as we approach the five second remaining mark this might just be down to me and that but we'll see all right plonk got it in there as well the guesses are closed um and it's time for me to make my guess as far as i can remember this is the um peruvian flag i think but I might be wrong. I think it is, though. Uh, and this looks like a pretty major city. Because I... <sighs> the yellow tags definitely threw me off at first because I was thinking Colombia. And I'm still kind of thinking Colombia. What if it's a border town with Colombia? What if it is? 
We have mountains to the north. Which honestly would fit. Okay, there's mountains all around us. That doesn't help. I'll plonk it right there. Right in the middle, right there. Because why not? I feel like that's... The yellow plates might be a thing in Peru as well, but I've never heard of that before. So, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that. Let's send it. Ooh, alright, well, I was way off on that. But I did get the country right. Let's see, we have Nat in first place. A strong showing there. Streak of two. 263 kilometers away. Plonk right behind there. Streak of four now. And a distance of 291. Well done, myself in third. We don't need to talk about that. It's fine. Uh, where I went is the Amazon. I never said I was smart, all right? <laughs> God damn it. Oh, you're so right, too. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> Plonk, that might be the kindest way anyone has ever told me that I am an absolute idiot. I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> All the Peruvian mountains are near the coast. All right, cool. Well, the uh, I was just trying to to logic something out with the yellow um, the yellow plates. That's all. But I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, let's do round number five. The fifth and final. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know Block. I'm just having fun with you. No problem at all. Two minutes, though, on the clock. Let's see. <laughs> it was a fun way of putting it, though. <laughs> all right, we have a bit of language down there in the... Uh, down, down the street. I'm going to pan slowly so that you could look at the plates there as well on the uh, cars. That might be a uh, hint. Who knows? We're going to go ahead and keep panning, but I'm going to zoom out a little bit. So that we can actually see everything. Uh, and not have it be a pixelated mess. Alright, there we go. This one might be tricky as well. Right? I feel like this one might be very tricky. Maybe. I don't know for sure. No one's guessed yet, though. So I might not be the only one struggling with this one. At least I hope so. <laughs> oh, both Plonk and Nat got the, uh, the guesses in there at the same time. I don't know if that's you guys actually clicking at the same time or if, it, if that's a chat guesser thing. Like there's a little bit of lag or something, but Plonk nailed the country. Distance of 480 and a score of 38.58. We have Nat in a second place position right now. 12.28 kilometers. Also well done, but did unfortunately not get the country. Well, it went in two seconds after you guessed. Okay, so the, uh, the lag isn't too bad then, or the latency, I guess, isn't too bad. Uh, we have 15 seconds remaining, though. If you want to get your guesses in, now would be the time. And then I'm going to make a guess. And we'll see. I might get this one totally wrong. Not a lot to go by on this one. Little bit of language. Little bit of uh, plate meta, I guess. That's about it. Okay, I'm closing the guesses. Actually, I'll, I'll leave the guesses open, because we, we're not too many people playing right now, so I might as well leave it open. Uh, and I'll make my guess pretty quickly. I'm gonna go ahead and say this is probably... I was torn here between... Um, uh, between Bulgaria, the Ukraine, and Russia. But I don't see the yellow and blue tag on the left-hand side of the plates. Uh, and I don't see a blue tag that would indicate Bulgaria. I do, however, see the gas line in the background and uh, the sort of double antenna, which I don't—I don't know if that's a matter for Russia, but I feel like it is. Uh, one there, and then one there as well. It's the same antenna, obviously, but it's a—it's uh, a uh, glitch that I feel like you see quite a bit over there. Uh, yeah, that's all I have. I don't have a lot more to go by. Like, there's a couple of bollards over there, but that doesn't really quantify as bollard spam, does it? 
Uh, but I'm going to send it and going by the vegetation, I'd say we're probably... You know what? It, all, it, it always ends up being over here. It always does. But... <gasps> wait, can I... The bus driver is sitting on the left-hand side. As is that, dude. We're on the western part. Let's plonk it up here, why not? Let's get it up to there. You need to get back into doing yoga in the mornings. Ooh, that sounds nice. I haven't done activities in the morning for years, I feel like. Uh, unless you count, like, making coffee and just, like, being lazy for a couple of hours in the morning. An activity, which is what I do. <laughs> East Russia drives on the other side. They don't, but because of the proximity to, to Japan, a lot of people in this region, uh, for them it's cheaper to import the cars from Japan, so you will see a lot of uh, right-hand drive cars uh, in Russia, in this region in particular. So it's a, it's a thing that people have actually successfully argued and, um, and landed. It's a cool one. It's a cool little detail that I, I will never forget that one. Alright, uh, it was indeed Russia. It was indeed the western part. Uh, Plonk got the closest there at 480. Nat in a very strong second place position at 1228. Uh, and then we have myself in a disappointing third place position. 1380. Right behind though, kinda. Uh, there we go. Well done everybody. Let's head on to the summary. And we have Plonk nailing every single round of that set for a combined distance of 13,000. Nope. A combined distance of 1,396. And a combined score of 21,582. Nice job, dude. Holy shit. That's well done. Uh, myself in a second place position, 4,064 uh, combined distance there. Uh, 16,388. We have Nat in a very good third place position there as well. Uh, 21,023 kilometers combined distance. 15,059 uh, score. Yeah, there we go. Well done. And we have Mander only competed in two rounds, but we're still able to get up to 19,100 kilometers combined and a score of 1,283. Well done, everybody. GG. Hell yeah, that was a good round. You guys are good. Uh, let's see. I think I'm gonna take the time then to um, to go and get a little bit of dinner. Because it's getting late and I haven't eaten. Uh, before I do though, I will as always, not always, but whenever we've had some action, and I would say today we have had a little bit of action, so we're gonna run the uh, the daily stream credits. Uh, I'm going to thank all of you, of course, for watching, lurking, and chatting. Uh, why did that... Oh, donate! There we go! Hell yeah! Thank you, Nate, again for that uh, amazing donation there. First one that I've ever received, too, so that actually means a lot to me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to thank my lovely moderators there as well, uh, who... Put in a lot of great work. We have a new follower in Goth Rush. Thank you, dude. And Badger and O-Space, both with resubscriptions five months there. Thank you so much, you guys. It means so much to me. Uh, Mander is the bot too, you're so right. Uh, the bot list, basically. Uh, and then we have Nate. Again, coming in with the raid. An absolute legend. Again, if you haven't before, check them out. Throw them a follow. Uh, some amazing content there. I, I was tuning in to some, uh, some IRL streams there a few days. Or a few, like, it might be a week back or so. It was a lot of fun, though. You get to see a lot more of the locations that we normally uh, hit up in GeoGuessr. So that's a lot of fun. Um, let's throw the party on over, though. Uh, so that we can keep this party going, right? Do I have anyone on right now that I could throw it on over to? I do... Yeah, let's see. Uh, you know what? I want to throw it on over to someone that we haven't before. 
so today is gonna be capo 40 doing some chat guessing as well so let's throw it on over there thank you again so much guys for hanging out with me today i always had so much fun hanging out with you guys um yeah and i will try to be on again tomorrow i can't promise that it'll happen but i will do my very 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 best uh if not it will be friday we will be back for some more exciting stuff as well so uh yeah just wait and see stay tuned right um again be good people all right you're beautiful uh and i appreciate every single one of you all right bye bye <laughs>